All right, Noob Noob, I've got a bone to pick with Blue Beetle. At least Blue Beetle's not a fascist. He's a racist. Oh, my God. All right, all right. So we're not going to nail Blue Beetle as bad. Like, I would say collectively, we both agree it's a fine... I'll nail someone in Blue Beetle, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) Susan Sarandon. (laughs) I think it's a fine movie, right? No, it's good. I liked it. I thought it was very good. I think, it wasn't great. But. No, it's not a great movie. And the end sequence was written by small children who don't seem to understand how anything works. End sequence. No, the whole part, like who's driving the, the beetle machine? Oh, like the, okay. Like yeah. none of that makes sense. And we're, we're going to try not to spoil too much of it. All I really want to do... Talk about the racism. We want to talk about the racism rampant in Blue Beetle. It's just weird. And what people are the devil. It's not even that. Like, there's just these, like, real dumb comments and, and assumptions. Like, if you're Spanish speaking, you must be like, what are they even doing here? Like, the let's start early with the family. First of all, the family is, like, the biggest stereotype of, like, what's Hispanic. Stere- what you, oh, they're, they're illegal, right? The mom- they, they're, yeah, they're, half of them are illegal. And then they all live in the family together. Grandma's like a funny little grandma. And you've got hardworking dad. And then the deadbeat uncle, like, and yeah. they all live together. The the sister who's strangely sexually attracted to her brother. I think that's part what? of it. You didn't get those vibes? What? <laughs> There's a part where when they're sitting on the roof and the sister definitely looks like she wants to jump her brother's bones. Oh, my God. You miss that? Yeah, he was drinking like I don't even know if he was drinking a six pack of beer. Or I, I, it was yeah, a six I remember pack that scene. But I don't drinks. remember her wanting to eat him. She was wearing fishnets. Yeah, it was a weird. It scene. was a weird scene. And then she's talking about taking a giant dump in front of him. Like what? Oh yeah, he had yes. to watch while she took a dump in a white woman's bathroom. Yes, that was a little strange. Yeah, I don't wouldn't say that was racist, but strange. The the her okay. So let's start with like Susan Sarandon's character. First, okay, I also want to talk about like enormous plot holes, and I like the movie. I'm I'm just saying there were like it was written by small children. Like, so why you know in the beginning of the movie there there there's a giant there's a giant statue thing nope. that they're digging into. They're trying to find the blue oh, beetle. Oh, the beetle, scarab. yeah, it's a giant orb. Okay, so if the scarab is in that giant orb, what was it doing on the other guy? Remember, there's like oh, yeah, two cause... previous blue beetles. Yeah, and he was trying to unlock... He could never fully unlock the scarab. But yeah, that doesn't make any sense. If the other guy before him had the scarab bonded to him. But for some reason, Susan Saran is looking for it in a giant stone orb. Maybe it left, orb. went on vacation, then came back. By the way, did you notice when in the opening credits there were like 10 beetles? Or 10 scarabs? Oh, really? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of different colored scarabs. So oh. just teaser for a sequel that will never happen. Cause yeah, well, maybe that's maybe the other beetles had different scarabs. Yeah, but they specifically, he had the blue beetle. Remember? He's like, oh, the, not Ted Cord, but Ted Cord's buddy oh, there's had a gr- the blue beetle. There could be a green beetle. There is a green beetle. There's a black beetle. Is it really? For sure. There's just all different colored beetles. Rainbow beetles. They work for, spoiler, the, we'll do a little bit of spoiler. The beetle gang. No, they work for the Reach. Beetle gang. Is that would have been much more interesting than the movie. There's a really interesting movie in here that doesn't do it justice and i thought all the actors were good so let's go back to the the mild racism so you have susan saran and the white woman can't remember the dude's name ever the other guy the guy who works for her sanchez yes sanchez she just keeps saying sanchez like what she can't remember this dude's name he's like the top scientist he's entrusted with the blue beetle he he's literally dirty works sanchez he works in the same room that's all he is he's dirty sanchez do you and then do you remember the white secretary the white yeah. secretary who's just listen like, jamie listen jamie it's not jaime. Jaime. okay jamie okay, calm down okay, jamie i'm gonna need you to get on your, get on your knees yes and and put your hands behind your head as i have you deported um, oh, I'm surprised they didn't make a deportation joke. They, they did. did. They had the ice scene. They had an entire ice scene. Wait, where was you the ice? You don't know what ice is? Yeah, it goes in a drink. No, ice is the, the it's people. It's cocaine. No. They're the ones in it's charge. It's jewelry. The border. Fuck. The border people. 
You know the guys who like the break border in, patrol. Yes, like the Paw Patrol. Ice, yes, except for they're armed with guns. Do you know there's a Paw Patrol movie coming out? I heard that. Yes, it looks awesome. I'm sure you're gonna go see it. I you like the pink one. Kind of want to. So they have like an. They had a whole scene with like ice, like like deporting the family. Like get on your knees. We're gonna. All you want to do is be in this country, but we're gonna shoot you anyway. Yeah. What about the parts where they keep referring to? To, uh, Cord, Ted Cord's daughter, what's her name? Uh, Jenny. Jenny as the white girl. They're like, oh, the rich white girl. She's very not white. They keep saying, she. They, they say it at least three times where she's the rich white girl. And then the sister goes on her social media and she's like, oh, she's Brazilian. Oh. She, she even has an accent. Yes, her English is terrible. Her accent is terrible, more like it. You liked her though. She's hot though. Yeah. Bruna lip maca baca macadamia nut lip fillers not and bad yeah. tattoos not for me nah. and big clunky weird shoes did you see her moon boots uh, oh yeah I don't know they what was racist. going on with those they were racist I just focus, uh, focused on the body though I'm like mm. what, what, you couldn't see anything eat some butter She's off that wearing pants the eat whole time eat some butter off those pants <laughs> And like a regular top. Throw some pancakes on there, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) Pancakes. Uh, So then I thought this part was the most ridiculous part was, so at some point they decide to go back and and they have to do a rescue mission, right? And they're speaking in Spanish as if the Brazilian girl would know what they were saying. So they're just assuming that all Hispanics all just speak Spanish. Yep. Yep. That the primary language one Spanish under God of Brazilian is Portuguese, so she probably speaks Portuguese. They didn't make it clear that she understood Spanish. They were just like, "Yeah, Spanish, you go get him, girl." And Granny was a rebel fighter. Yeah, that made a lot of sense too because I thought she was Mexican, not like Peruvian or like. It just seemed like this guy was like, oh, Latin Let's put culture. a bunch of Latino stereotypes together and all call it Mexican. Exactly. That's my biggest problem is they act as if like there's just a blanket Latin culture and there's no difference between Honduras or Mexico or any of those other things. Like, um, I, re- I, re- I was watching another reviewer who's, who's a Spanish speaker from Argentina and he's like, He's like, if you have to leave your country to go to another country and you're going to do it illegally, I'm pretty sure that means that your country's an asshole. (laughs) I was like, he's like, I'm not leaving my country anytime soon. I love Argentina. So I just thought it was the director, not to mention the director was terrible. He did so many like super close up face shots, too many face shots. Of the cute Brazilian girl. No, of everybody. Too many facials. Zolo's pretty hot too. Yeah, I, he was great. I liked him. I liked the I liked the actors. I thought that some of the d- dialogue was cheesy, and I thought like it was just like a bunch of like th- like I said, it's just like Hispanic Latin stereotypes without the actual culture, and just assuming that everyone's like Mexican. It was very strange. I didn't get it. It was still good though. Yeah, it was fine. I, I liked mean, it's it. it's like it would have been. Much better if it was released like 10 years ago and someone who wasn't mentally handicapped wrote it. <laughs> Dude, there's so many parts at the end where they're literally all hugging. Who's driving the, the bug? The, their love. Their love is the love bug. Or uh-huh. the burrito. Or what about the whole part where he's like, I'm not going to kill anybody. And then they just go and they just start tearing. Oh, yeah. He makes it a big point. He's like, don't kill. And then they're just plowing, plowing through those soldiers. Plowing people and just stab, putting holes in Beetle them. Beetle bug stab. Yeah. It would just, there was, the, my, uh, my last problem with it is there's zero character arcs. Um, no one goes through a single character arc in it. What does anybody learn in any of this? What do you mean? They're Mexican. They still are Mexican. That's it? Character arc. Character arc right there. And if you're going to stay for the end credits, the there's a mid-scene scene one, which is okay. And the last one is like as if they put like a cartoon of Bugs Bunny up. Like it doesn't. It's I didn't even so, stay for that one. It's pointless. You didn't need to. Didn't even stay for that one. You didn't need to. So let us know what you think. Is Blue Beetle racist? In fact, the director is blaming the Latin community for not coming to see the movie. Oh, so he's racist. So he's racist against his own community. What a jerk. Yeah. He doesn't deserve another movie, but those actors sure do, because I enjoyed them. They did good. Good job, George Lopez. Good job, Zolo. 
even though I watched him as a rapper and it's extraordinarily cringe. Zolo? Yes. Is he a rapper? Oh, I could show you it, but... Oh, I didn't even look at the articles. Oh, well, what are you going to do? It doesn't matter. It it's didn't racist. make a lot of money and it's a racist. Yeah. So tell us what you think below. Is it racist? Is it not racist? Did you even watch it? Do you even care? You care enough for us to, t- to talk about it, so check it out. Like, subscribe, check out our full length audio podcast. It's on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those great places and more. And we live stream it Fridays, 7 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come hang out with us. It's a lot of fun. I linked it up above. We'll see you on that one. But for now, we're on to the next one. Mm-hmm.